This is the Quad 4 Morning News. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Cron 4 News Weekend. It's 928. I'm Isabel Duran. Good morning. I'm Marty Gonzalez. Now, let's check in with Henry. You know how some people have all the luck? <laughs> Glenn Yopis says, no problem. You can have all the luck, too. You just have to know what to do to get the luck. It takes a little effort. takes a little smarts. We're going to talk about it coming up on Cron 4 News Weekend. Okay, you know it's the 21st century when books have trailers, and that's what you're looking at here. This is a trailer for a book called Earning Serendipity by Glenn Yopis. Uh, four skills for creating and sustaining good fortune in your work. And among the skills, this is one of them actually, which <laughs> is learn how to make what you create thrive. So for example, Glenn writes a book, he not only creates a trailer like this, but he has created a Facebook app so you can go on and take a quiz to figure out whether you are successfully situated to take advantage of serendipity, okay? Glenn Yopis is uh, he's a businessman, teacher, speaker, writer, uh, and we're going to talk about these four different skills. Just for starters, uh, it, I mean, it's pretty much you want to see what you got, sow your seeds, Nurture your seeds and then share the wealth. That's right. Well, okay. first of all, that's it, folks. Thanks very much for joining. No, go well, ahead. Well, first of all, it's great to be here, Henry. And Thank you know, you. I know right now people are feeling that that change is looming around all of us, and and of course that has an impact on the sustainability of our jobs and careers and businesses and their people. And you know, I've always said that opportunity is the mother of success, and I think that we're seeing that now because we're evolving from what I call a knowledge economy to more of a wisdom economy, one where the economy will be shaped not by theory and rhetoric, uh, but really more so by the lessons learned from experience, trial and error. And uh, it's the uh, error uh, part that no, people don't well, want to deal with. And missed opportunity. And you know, I learned that from my uh, Cuban immigrant parents that were victim of Castro's revolution, but I also learned that from having experienced misfortune myself in business. And so I've concluded, Henry, that both earning serendipity and living your life with an entrepreneurial mindset really serve as two sides of the same coin. It's just all about making opportunity matter. And that's what I'm really teaching in this book. Okay, so step number one sure. is, is be aware. Just look around you. Well, Open yourself up for That's right. I call it seeing with circular vision. It's really looking around, beneath, and beyond what you seek to thus enlarge your field of opportunity. You know, my, my father always used to say, and he still tells me today, that business and life, it's all about people. And I say that there's four types of people that we deal with both in and outside of the workplace. There are leaders, lifters, loafers, and leeches. Everyone's experienced them. There's no <laughs> doubt. <laughs> I actually am a couple of them. <laughs> okay, so you learn how to deal with each one of those. Okay, and then number number two is uh, what I call sowing entrepreneurial seeds. Now, Henry, how many times has somebody asked you, "Hey, that's a great idea. You should do something with that opportunity." And then what happens, Henry? Nothing. Exactly. <laughs> No offense, nothing. No, you're right. You're right. Well, well, most I'm... people just don't want to take that risk and allow their ideas to become opportunities of, of good fortune. But, but but then you have to teach people courage. And I don't know that that's a skill that can be taught. Well, I call that trusting your brand and being able to live your brand as if you own your ideas and ideals. And that's why most people can't take their idea to reality, and um, that's why most people uh, don't think about sowing their seeds of ideas and opportunity in, uh, each day. So, always sow those seeds of opportunity. The third skill, yeah. and this I, is I where, like this one because there's a and, gardening <laughs> metaphor here. Well, and this is where really um, that concept of trusting your brand really holds true, and that's being able to sow uh, those seeds of greatest potential, and um, that's really knowing how to identify those opportunities that have the greatest potential and give them focus. Now, 
if you think about those entrepreneurs that created some of the most incredible innovations of our time, they all trusted their brand, whether that was Bill Gates or whether that was Jeff Bezos uh, with mm -hmm. Amazon.com. Um, there are numerous entrepreneurs that trusted their brand enough to have the courage to live it every day and allow their seeds to come to life. Mm -hmm. So that's number three. And then, and then the other thing is making sure you know certain seeds need to be watered more, certain they just need to be handled, but you manage, you manage your ideas, that, you manage your opportunities. The last one, which we haven't got time for, is sharing. Of course, which sharing is, the harvest. Which is obviously a very important part of it all. But the idea is that you make your own luck, folks. It's called Earning Serendipity, Four Skills for Creating and Sustaining Good Fortune in Your Workplace. Uh, the website is earningserendipity.com. Uh, thank you very much for You've certainly made your own serendipity. Uh, the book, a lovely book, Four Skills for Creating and Sustaining Good Fortune in Your Work. Thanks very much for joining us. Thank you very and much. And now, with <laughs> any luck, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to take a break. We'll be right back.